I'm Catherine Timmermans and I'm a midwife working for uh, MSF. This is my eighth mission. I've been in Haiti before. We are working in an obstetrical emergency center. So during the year we get a lot of women with severe problems during their pregnancy. Most of them for sure in the second and the third trimester of pregnancy, but of course we get a lot of women with abortions. It's quite a harsh life, I guess, in Haiti because you see very young children, almost still 14, 15 year old, who get pregnant because there is no sexual education in school. It's very taboo, everything that has to do uh, with sex. So if they end up pregnant, and they're still young and they, they want to continue their school career, they, they will have to call back an abortion. As we are in Port-au-Prince, there is certain medication that's almost available everywhere. And it's misoprostol that we use as well ourselves to either induce labor for women who need to deliver or to stop postpartum hemorrhage. You can buy it, of course, just in the street and you can very often find people with like buckets and they're completely full with medication. And of course, what they are selling, we don't even know about the quality of those drugs because they are exposed to sunlight or maybe already post uh, expiry date. Okay, so this woman, they, they will try whatever to abort and then it will start bleeding. Then, of course, if an abortion is not complete, there is a very big risk of infection. And that's when they come in because they, um, they bleed and they continue bleeding because not everything is out yet. That might infect and then it will come in with severe infection or severe anemia. As we are an um, emergency center, of course, we will give post-abortion care, which means that women who are very ill due to an incomplete abortion, we will handle them. If they come in with an ab with a abortion that's not complete but not complicated, we'll have to refer them to another center. And then the hard thing is that you actually realize that all those women that we refer to other structures, very often they will first be neglected for a while. Because there is such a big taboo, they will arrive in a hospital, very often people will treat her very disrespectfully. Sometimes women are not helped at all and they might just die on a brancard because yeah, she was considered as a, as a criminal herself.